Well, hey guys, uh, welcome to another Chris Plays. My god, it's been so long since I've done one of these, but um, we're back, and uh, this time we're going to be playing Star Fox Zero, uh, which, as you can see in the title screen. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. So before I, I start this Chris Plays, there are a few things I want you guys to know. Um, so first of all, I'm not quite sure what you guys are going to be able to hear on this video because uh, the way Nintendo has designed Star Fox, most of the audio comes out of the Wii U gamepad, which I'm going to hold as close as I can to the microphone um, while still, you know, making it, uh, what's it called, far enough that I could still play the game properly um but they have done that uh for some reason so what's on the um what's on the actual game is uh just i guess background music and like far away explosion sounds i'm not sure so keep that in mind and also keep in mind that you guys will not be able to see my gamepad um so i'll try to describe as i play as much as i can what's going on but anyway so these are kind of like my first impressions or my initial my impressions before i've completed the game because i've i've actually played quite a bit of this game already um but uh yeah so let's just jump in so first off this is the main game section we'll go ahead and cover this in today's episode um so this is the map of Star Fox Zero. So there is a lot of um, areas here. Um, there's a lot of different paths you can go on. It's it's very similar to Star Fox 64, where you have, you know, like, oh, if you beat Corneria a certain way, you might go here instead of going there. Um, the only difference is that it, it saves all your stuff. So, like, for example, let's say I went down this path, and I don't know, I was all the way up to here or something like that um sector beta i could actually if i wanted to when you open up the main game this whole menu is here so i can go back and play corn area basically they give you access to everything in the all the levels in the game once you've completed it and i think that is so fucking cool that they allow you to do that um so anyway with that being said um let's try corn area first so i can give you guys an example of what happens when you try to go to now corneria actually has two different levels because uh in the game you actually return to corneria but um here as you can see there's solo gameplay and there's co-op play um i haven't tried co-op yet actually that's something i've yet to try so i can't comment on it but i've seen people do it and it looks really fun but let's do co-op for i mean solo for now so not sure if you guys can hear but in the yeah, there it is in the gamepad. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but in the gamepad, the uh, the dialogue is coming through, and most of the shooting and stuff like that's gonna happen. But anyway, so let's check this out. So this is the corn area. And you'll see it's very similar to um, Star Fox 64, kind of sorta. Again, I'm trying to see if you guys can see. On my gamepad, by the way, it's showing the perspective from Fox. So I have a... Uh... Yeah, see, I can look around. See? So I, I highlighted Slippy, and now I'm going to move over. You guys can't see what I'm doing, but I'm going to move over to Falco. See, and he's like, yeah. And then I'm going to move over to Peppy. So see, that's not automatic. That's actually me moving the gamepad and, you know. Yeah, I know. God. So that's just... There we go. Now this is fucking badass, this intro. This sold me. I was like, oh, Nintendo. That is just so fucking cool. And then, bam, puts you right into the action. That, oh, that is so fucking great. But anyway, so control-wise, right now, um, you know, 
the, the way this game works, you're basically constantly looking, and yeah, see, I'm fucking up trying to explain this while I talk, but you're basically always looking at the gamepad, and you're always looking at the, uh, at the, um, TV screen to see what you're doing. So, um, yeah, see, so right now, to get precision aiming, I'm looking at the gamepad, but now I'm looking back at the TV screen. So basically, to avoid obstacles, you're looking at the TV screen, but to, um, see, like, I have to save Slippy, so I just looked at the gamepad. Because it helped me out. Oh, thanks, Slip. But you do, look, the controls are a big thing that people have been talking about, right? Like, oh god, do they suck? Like, what the fuck's the deal with it? Um, I don't think they suck, I just think they're unnecessarily complicated. In other words, this game could have been made very differently. Um, to the point that you wouldn't... Oh, shut up, Slippy. To the point that you wouldn't need to do any of this. Um, but for whatever reason, you know, Star... F I mean, Star Fox. Nintendo decided to, um, to do this, and, you know, it's just, that's how the game is. But, uh, it, like, most reviewers and people I've been talking about, it do it does have a very, very steep learning curve. I mean, holy shit, I'm, like, just now... To give you an idea, I am just now getting used to the controls, and I have been playing this game for over a week, so... That's just to give you an idea. And I'm not shit-talking the game or anything. It, it's... It's... Fuck. It's a fun game. But... That's just how it is. Okay, now look. This... Let me... Bam! See? So, you could transform. This is something that you get later on in the game. But I've gone ahead and transformed now. Um, and see? I'm gonna push this button. Bam! Alternate path. Yeah! So, for those of you still playing and you're checking this out, there you go alternate path and uh but yeah this is the um the r-wing can change shut up dude the r-wing can change into things uh in this game it's a one of the new features uh that i'm sure you know plenty of you guys have seen on line and stuff it's uh it's pretty cool when you transform um i think it gets the job done it's really it's it's an interesting like I mean, I, from what I understand, it's from Star Fox 2, I think? Um, and uh, they stuck it into this game for whatever reason, I guess, recycling ideas. Now, see, look, I went to a portal, and now I'm going to a new place. And um, I'm not going to play the new place because it's, it's fucking hard shit. But basically, I get teleported now to, um, I think the boss's name is Aqua Rosa. And uh, it's another, it's basically another level. It's a whole level dedicated to a boss. So you guys will see, Fox is gonna come out. Where am I? And he's like, where am I? And <laughs> again, I don't know if you guys can hear this. See, and now the boss battle comes out. And uh, so this is the alternate path. Originally, I would have fought another boss. Another boss. Oh, yeah, see, because um, this boss escapes if you beat him a particular way. So now this is, yeah, this is a boss battle. And uh, I'm not going to do it because it's really fucking hard and it drives me fucking bonkers. But um, it is a boss battle and it does utilize the gamepad uh, control. By the way, to, to talk a little bit more about the gamepad, because I, I feel like it's hard to play and talk at the same time. But basically... While I was playing the game, I was moving, physically moving my gamepad around. When you start, you could set the controls however you want. You could make it that the uh, reticle is constantly moving with when you move the gamepad. Or you could start shooting and the gamepad moves with, um, you know, when you start shooting only. So basically when you press um, ZR, uh, w which is like the right trigger, I guess, on the gamepad, it does that. So, um... Yeah, it's pretty much how the controls work, and it's you gotta play it, but you basically have a more detailed view, because it's a first-person view on the gamepad screen, so you have a, a better view of things, so while you're playing, you know, you look down, you 
kill somebody a lot better, a lot more efficiently, more accurately. And then you can look up and you could like, you know, move out of the way of something. So it's weird. It's almost like uh, looking in the rearview mirror of a car while you're driving. I guess that's the a good way, a good analogy. Um, and it can get really fucking hard. And then here, the amiibo. I actually don't have the amiibo. Uh, amiibo is necessary, but if you put them on the gamepad as indicated on the screen, if you, I think you could use the Fox amiibo and the Falco amiibo which are both from smash brothers i i have amiibos i have uh uh samus uh link and mario obviously they're not compatible with this game um but i think the fox amiibo gives you the classic um star fox uh you know r wing from uh star fox from from super nintendo and uh falco gives you like a black r wing that apparently is stronger but you also can die a lot more easily so um yeah that's pretty much this section of the game um i guess i'll quickly show you guys one more thing before i i take this off so training mode um is really more of like a challenge mode um and there is challenge missions i haven't unlocked them all as you can see like you need to collect medals in the game but uh it basically helps you out these three are they help you um kind of understand the walker the chicken walker this is one for the r wing uh the gyro wing which is another vehicle in the game and the landmaster which is a returning vehicle so all these they kind of help you figure it out and there's challenge missions for all of them the roadmaster is actually a completely different um vehicle that is not in the game and it's basically another side mission type thing that's not really a mission they call it an extra mission but it's basically like what what um these are but like in a in a planet or whatever so um, yeah, it's pretty much training. I mean, I'm not going to show it off. It's essentially what you think it is. Prologue is just they replay the prologue of the game for you. So, you know, it's the opening of the game. Um, I don't know why it's an option here. Um, and actually, guys, I'm going to stop part one here because I definitely want to dive more into this game uh, in the next one. So uh, be on the lookout later this week. We'll have part two up on Thursday. And um, I'll continue my, you know, impressions on the game so far. All right, guys. Take care.